All right, recording a quick video here uh, to demonstrate how to do the nameplate in the web version of SketchUp. Uh, it's slightly different. This one might be actually a little bit faster and easier to do. Uh, you have to download the software, but we'll do it here and, and you can see there's there's some limitations you'll have to work around. So first off, the tool is in a slightly different place. Uh, they're the nav items for SketchUp web are over here on the left and under the rectangle tool, you'll find uh, 3D text tool. Very similar interface here. We'll try this again. The, one of the limitations though is that you can't change the justification of the text. It's always left justified. I can't figure out how to, to make that different. So what I ended up doing was doing two, I still wanted two rows, but just creating two different 3D text objects uh, and then aligning them manually. So, uh, but these are the settings. I chose Open Sans. They don't have many font choices, but Open Sans will be your closest to Helvetica. Uh, eight millimeters for the height and then two millimeters for the extrusion depth. So there's that one. Um, the orbit tool is here on the bottom left and you can rotate it around and, and center that a little bit better. The move tool is also here on the left. So if you want to move it, you can slide it around. So there's Jeremy. Do this again and do the last name. Get under rectangle text. It's an, uh, change your font back to open sans. And apparently it opened the save dialog. Okay. <laughs> uh, move this around. Back to select. Um, that's pretty close. So that's it. It's not too bad. Um, you know, similar text, the font size is different. You just have to manually specify it. As far as I can tell, there's no way to change the text justification. Um, yeah, I can't really see how you might do that. Uh, it, it's just one, but you can obviously manipulate it later. Uh, what you can do is you can export then uh, direct download as an STL file. Um, and it's ready to go for you. I think this is gonna be easier than downloading the SketchUp software. Uh, one thing I realized was that their end of lifing, uh, their uh, sort of free version, so you could purchase the pro version and do exactly what I did in the previous videos, um, or you could just use the free version, which I, I got in here and I'll put the link in the readme in the repo. So pretty straightforward.